What's up everybody, Kinetic here, and welcome back to Revelation Online. In this continuation of my sponsored video series, I'm going to be talking about gathering and crafting. Now, I think every MMORPG has to have a good gathering and crafting system. I mean, a lot of people get into it. Me, personally, I definitely get into it. Uh, sometimes I'll just go hardcore gathering, or I'll really get into crafting as well, combine the two or something like that. So I'm going to go over what it offers here in Revelation Online. It's sort of like a crash course, just like basic 101 stuff. Uh, to kind of introduce you guys to what it's like here in the game. Now I'm going to assume that for the most part, uh, people that are watching this video may this may be their very first MMORPG. So bear with me as I as I kind of treat this as such. I'm not treating this from a perspective of somebody that's been like playing WoW for like 10 years or anything like that. But uh, here we are. We are in the uh, the onset, the the hot bath, the hot spring area in Revelation Online. And me, you may be thinking this is a very strange place, Kinetic, to introduce gathering and crafting. Yes, it is, but it's also one of the most interesting places I've ever seen people uh, performing one of those kinds of professions. Uh, just take a look over here, and what you'll see is a, is a few different things. You'll see, for one, uh, a bunch of uh, muscly guys and uh, a bunch of waifus as well hanging out with fishing poles. Those are fishing poles, okay? <laughs> the people are fishing here at the hot spring bath, which uh, I thought was really interesting when I, I saw this. I'm like... Wow, this is where people go fishing. And then it turns out there's actually also an NPC. Like, uh, where is he? Can't see him. Yeah, he's like right right there. Like that little cat looking thing with the orange on his head or, or whatever. Raccoon or whatever. That's our fishing, <laughs> fishing vendor. Our fishing NPC. So if we press F, we open up the, his shop and see what he has to uh, to offer. Now, like most uh, gathering professions, you you need a tool, right? And with fishing, it's no different here. What he offers is for for beginners, you want the uh, the novice kind of uh, equipment, right? And he actually offers it in a complete set, which is great because it comes with the, the fishing pole, it comes with the novice hook, the novice float, and it comes with a big stack of ragworms as well. Now, as you, you improve your fishing skill, then you'll get access to better equipment. For example, uh, the flying fish hook, but you need to be level eight uh, with your angler skill. And that's usually how it works here. It's not so much based on the level of your character, although I would say it might be best to wait until you're like, I don't know, at 20 or 30 levels with your character, so that way you at least have access to a mount, if not wings, for, for gathering and crafting. But uh, it, it's more based on the skill of, of what you're doing, right? So you can, I suppose, start it as early as you want. But let's say you want to get started with fishing. So you take my advice and you buy yourself a, a novice, novice, novice fishing set. Uh, and then what you'll get is a, a chest like this. You open it up and boom, all that stuff comes out. Now I need to get some bait. Let's go ahead and buy a, a couple of those. And we'll pick a nice, nice fishing spot so that way we're not bumping elbows with people. How about over here? I mean, I could go in the water if I really want to. <laughs> uh, so then let's go into our inventory. And let's say you open it up and, and you start right clicking on the fishing pole and stuff like that. You're probably wondering, where is this stuff going? There's a, a crafting tab here. If you press C to the character window and then go to crafting here and then scroll down to the bottom, it shows our fishing tools. There's our rod hook and float. And this is where all other tools would go. But here's the thing that, that's kind of interesting. Fishing is the only gathering profession or profession at all here in Revelation Online that immediately requires a tool. Uh, if you want to go mining, if you want to go foraging instead or something like that, no tool is required to, to get started on that. What these slots are for here is for once you reach level 10 with that profession, then you get to equip specialty uh, mining picks, for example, or axes for woodcutting and stuff like that. That's what those slots are, are for there. But for fishing, no need for that. Just go ahead and, and buy the box and get yourself started like that. So now what I'll do is I'll right click on the bait and it will give me a couple of options here. Are you ready for fishing? Start or quick fishing. Now quick fishing is automatically fishing. The, the whole system is automated, automated and it will continue fishing until you run out of bait. You might be wondering, well, why would I want to do anything else other than that? It sounds easy. Yeah, it's actually too easy. Um, there seems to be a difference between the automatic kind of AFK fishing uh, or manual fishing in terms of uh, the, the success rate that you have. So you're better off, unless you really don't feel like babysitting it or, or whatever, you, you're better off manually fishing. So we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll click start. 
So now we're in manual fishing mode. And what we'll do is we'll start by pressing F to charge kind of our, our swing, right? And try and get it up to close to the max, right? Oh, and look at that, perfect. All right, so now what happens now is you need to have a certain amount of energy while you're also performing uh, gathering in crafting professions. Now this might scare some people, but please don't take this to, to that kind of uh, extreme and panic. But there's kind of a, a an energy system similar to that of Arc Age. I know you're panicking. Calm down. It'll be it'll be fine. Okay. Now what just happened? I found a pond sprite. That's amazing. <laughs> Uh, we were waiting for the fish to, to bite our, our bait and it will give us a notice and as soon as it does we need to click it quick so that way we do catch the fish before we lose it so all we do is press F again and we pull up our fish. But there is an energy system here, an energy system that uses uh, different kinds of energy depending on the activity that you're performing. So it, like most crafting uh, and gathering systems in MMORPGs, there's some complexity here, certainly. Uh, so that's what you're seeing actually up here, the diligence and inspiration. It says crafting skill, uh, dedicated points, and inspiration is crafting. Actually, they both say that, don't they? <laughs> uh, we also have something more. Maybe you notice this uh, over here on the crafting window. We've got crafting skill attributes. We've got uh, erudition, poise, curiosity, fortune, grace, forbearance, and astuteness. Now, depending on the kind of gathering that you're doing, you might be uh, pulling up herbs, you might be fishing, you might be mining or something like that. Depending on also the crafting that you, you might be doing, you might be wood cutting or, or woodworking, I should say, alchemy, cooking, something like that then that will have a, a, an effect on how you're gaining these attributes um, and also the requirements needed to get the next highest recipe or the next tier gathering material that you may be aiming for. Um, let me put it this way. So if we click on the, the crafting button there and we go here to, uh, let's say, felling, okay? Now, the beginner uh, wood that you can collect is black bamboo shoots. Okay, and this only requires four barons and one erudition. So you can you can start doing that immediately. However, for let's say trying to uh, to cut the peach trees, you need fourteen, and you need thirteen uh, for four barons and erudition. So as you continue to to gather, as you continue to craft and you level up your crafts and, and your gathering, then you'll get more and more of of these points, right? Uh, so because of the combination of all the different gathering that I've been doing, this is where I'm currently at with 16 forbearance and 15 uh, erudition. So I'm, I'm qualified to go ahead and start um, cutting some of those trees if I want. Same with uh, ant wood and, uh, and mining. So there, there's some... So some kind of, yeah, requirements, if you will. Again, not your character level, but it's sort of your crafting level. But it's like with a twist, you know what I'm saying? It's, now what I want to do is I want to show you guys the different areas where you can get started with all of the other gathering uh, professions. Here in this area, you can get some silver ore and kind of like this uh, this area here. Here is the, uh, the bamboo path. And uh, this is an area where it's really tough, but you can uh, and you should try to, to get bamboo uh, shoots that you can uh, can cut down here for your, your wood gathering. Uh, in this area here, you can get both uh, minerals to, to mine and also along the shores here is uh, is also a good place to, to do some beginner fishing. So if you, you, you feel a little like embarrassed to be fishing in, in just your, your trunks, then, uh, then come out here and you can be fully dressed and stuff like that uh, and enjoy uh, probably a really nice like sunset or something like that while you're at it too. Uh, so there's some beginner locations. Oh, also there's uh, there's mushrooms for like herbalism kind of uh, picking around it in here. So let's uh, yeah, let's go to let first we'll go to the bamboo path and uh, we'll see what uh, what we can hopefully get. Now, of course, to make travel easier to get to the locations where you want to go for whatever reason, uh, including gathering materials, then go ahead and use these uh, these portals. And I'm gonna click up here, and this is gonna take me to. Tidewater. It's going to use up some Imperial notes. No big deal. And here we are. This is Bamboo Path. Now, the reason why this location is so difficult to, uh, to get started with your uh, your wood gathering is because there's so much traffic here, usually. There are so many people that are coming and going uh, through this area. And it's one of the very few, if maybe even the only, 
I don't need, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. But it's one of the only locations where you can find bamboo to get uh, get started with your wood gathering. Oh, 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 is that? Oh, black bamboo. We both saw it at the same time. Now, this is open to everybody to collect. So you've got to, you got to get to them as quickly as you can. And it also has uh, multiple uh, takes. Uh, I think he got the last one. Yeah, he did. Okay. <laughs> We're like both racing for it. <laughs> this is great, but uh, yeah, this can be it can be quite competitive when you're trying to uh, to gather materials out here. Ah, beach on. He didn't even see this while he was cutting the other one. <laughs> so now that we got these materials, what do we do with them? Well, of course, you can do uh, all sorts of different things. You can sell them on the auction house if you have no interest in uh, in crafting yourself. You can go ahead and use the materials and start crafting. You might sell them to a guildmate. Uh, you might get a, a guildmate to use your materials to you know do some crafting for you and, and stuff like that. There's all sorts of different options that you have uh, to you, whether you're a gatherer or a crafter. Now, I've heard recommendations that if you're really serious about gathering and crafting, being an artisan basically here in Revelation Online, then you might really want to consider making a, a second character, an alt, one that will craft and one that will gather because of, again, the uh, the limitation with the, uh, the energy points that we have. If you're doing a lot of gathering, then you might not have points left over uh, to do any crafting at after that. Um, so that's just uh, a little heads up on that. But what we can do is let's say we want to go ahead and we want, we've been waiting to get this wood so that way we can get started on our uh, on our woodworking, for example, right? So then we press V, we, we come to the crafting window, and here we go, woodwork. First recipe doesn't take any tools or anything like that, and uh, we, we can manually uh, create or we can auto create. Select uh, manually, and then we can put in how many do we want to uh, to create? How many do we want to produce? So then we go ahead and click produce, and now Kratos is woodworking, <laughs> and he'll keep doing that until uh, until you've done as many uh, pieces as you uh, you told him or her to uh, to do. See, here we are in the forest area, and I'm just doing some plant foraging. I uh, found these very quickly, and I was thinking of going to each and every one of the beginner areas to kind of show you guys where you can find each and every gathering profession type of material, but I think you guys get the, the point by now. Uh, for Aside from fishing, all the gathering professions, you just go to the locations where uh, the the materials for beginners can uh, can spawn. And if you need a refresher on that, and if you want much deeper guides than this video, then check the links to the description. So it will give you a lot of details as far as like beginner points and also kind of more, more of a masterful uh, look into the, the deeper mechanics of how gathering and crafting work here in Revelation Online. That's going to wrap it up for this video on crafting and gathering 101 here in Revelation Online. It's a pretty good system so far. I think that it could be improved in some ways here and there. Uh, for example, I, I think they should like shorten the uh, the spawn times or maybe add some more nodes to some of those beginning areas because I mean I don't think this is even peak times and it's it's still like highly competitive. Uh, it's yeah, it's more than likely going to be even worse like during the peak times of the uh, the server. But yeah, I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Click the like button to support revelation online here on the channel and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video thanks again for watching this is kinetic and i'll see you next time